Hi everybody, how's it going? And welcome to a new point and click adventure game series. And by new, I actually mean new. Uh, this is a new point and click adventure game. Uh, not like the ones I previously have done. Uh, but it is by Ron Gilbert. Um, who, if you're a fan of these type of games, you will know very well. Um, so this one's called Thimbleweed Park. It's sort of a detective-y, FBI kind of game. Um, I've never played it before. It only came out a couple of months ago. But it looks really cool. I'm told the soundtrack is really good. Um, so we're going to play it. Um, but first, Turian's question. What is your favourite point and click adventure game? Or which one would you like to see me play in future on this channel? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, here we go. New game. Casual mode. If you're new to adventure games... No. Hard mode. If you're an experienced adventure gamer, I am definitely this one. We're going for hard mode. Okay, interactive characters and objects here. I mean, it's fairly simple. Same layout as all these type of games, really. Um, yeah, items you've picked up. Simple commands, blah, blah, blah. Let's advance. 1987. Before I was born. <laughs> Ooh. It's all very dramatic. I'm not sure what that means. <laughs> okay. Population 81. Quite a few people living in Thimbleweed Park then. Okay. <laughs> Population 80. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, part one. The meeting. This looks like a shady area. Oh nice, we've got a homeless guy. <laughs> or he's just drunk, I'm not sure. Either way, he's drinking more. <laughs> ah, is this us? I fly halfway around the world and an odd note is waiting for me in my hotel room. It says to come to the bridge down by the river. This looks like That's not suspicious. I could really go for some Wiener Schnitzel after the long walk out here. Ah, this guy is German, right? <laughs> okay, um, open up the gate. Let's talk to Willy. Uh, I'm supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? I am supposed to meet someone down here. Have you seen anyone? Yeah, I have any whiskey. Uh, are you sure you haven't seen are anyone? Are you sure you have not seen anyone? <laughs> I'm glad Chuck is dead. Ruin my life. Who's Chuck? Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Wake up, sir. Okay, I think this guy is out of it now. I have to go. Sleep well. Okay. The graphics are pretty cool, aren't they? They've got that retro feel. But they're nice. Okay, we're looking at this sign apparently. Uh, how do you do look at without Treasure selecting it there? To Thimbleweed Park, 1.7 miles. Okay, there's a rock here. What do we have in our invent? A pillow bear. There's our key card for our hotel room. Our wallet. It's my wallet, and it has 252 American dollars in it. Nice, and a note. Ah. Boris, I'm glad you've decided this is the right solution to our problem. There are eyes everywhere, so follow these steps precisely. For your own protection, leave your ID in your hotel room. 
Hmm. Done a tick on that. Go to the river down by the trestle trail bridge. We've done that. Number three. Turn off the light above the trestle trail sign so I know you have arrived. Four. Meet me at the large entrance to the underground sewers. Make sure you're not followed. This seems sketchy as hell, man. Ah, oh, here's the light. The light is turned on, and I do not see a light switch. Okay. Can we use the light? I do not see a way to turn it off. Okay, what if we pick up this rock? I wonder if I can use this rock to put out the light. Yes, I agree. It is a rock. It is a rock. Right. <laughs> I love the way he says rock. Nice, we've done it. There, I have completed step three of the note. Now for step four. Okay, the sewers. That must be this way somewhere, right? What the hell was that? Through this way. It's really far, this bit. Okay. Oh, here's the sewer. Jeez! That scared the life out of me. <laughs> oh, man. Boris, no. None of us were prepared for what we'd find that night. Oh, how much it would change us all. Oh, that's part one. <laughs> part two, the body. I'm hoping they're not all this short. <laughs> or oh, this could be a very short series. Ah, here we go. Ah, oh, man, the music is cool. It's got a good soundtrack, so I agree. Again why you're here. I was assigned to the case by the home office in Albuquerque. There is no home office in Albuquerque. It's neat to know. <laughs> Look, I like working a case alone. I especially don't need some junior agent messing up my investigation. Especially some junior agent that thinks I don't know there isn't a home office in Albuquerque. So stay out of my way. Take a lot of notes. Sit back and learn. And I'll wrap up this case and we can both get the hell out of here. Your reputation certainly precedes you, Agent Ray. I'll take that as a compliment, Agent Ray is. It's how it was intended. I'm sure it was. Let's photograph the victim and head into town to talk to the local sheriff. The body is starting to pixelate. Starting to pixelate. Body starting to pixelate. Oh God, he's writing it down. This is going to be a long night. <laughs> Well, it's got that sense of humour so far. I'm glad it's still got that from the, the older games. Right, okay. Look at our badge. Detective Antonio Reyes, junior agent. It's definitely my badge. Okay, and we've got the notebook. <laughs> the body is starting to pixelate. Ray is going to get on my nerves. <laughs> Hopefully she stays focused on the case and lets me do what I need. And we've got the picture here. It's an here. instant camera, but there's no film in it. Oh, there's no film. It's a bottle here. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Should we pick that up? That looks like what um, Willie was drinking from. Interesting. It's an empty whiskey bottle. Is he still over here? Ah, oh, he's gone. Was he the murderer? He could well be. Could well be the murderer. Um, so I think we can change character up here. We can. Let's look at her badge. Detective Angela Ray, senior agent. It's my badge. Okay, notebook. Got into town late this afternoon. What a dump. I'll try to avoid contact with the locals until I see the body and figure out if it will suit my needs. Suit my needs? What's that about? Long highway. I hope I don't have to walk that again. Arrived at the body. It should do just fine as my cover. What? I hear rustling in the bushes. Someone's coming. Oh great, some other agent just showed up. I wasn't aware the bureau had been alerted. I need to ditch him. So she's not here on official bureau business. Hmm. It's a cell phone. 
It's a sample package of ah. Polaroid film. It only contains Let's... one photo. That's not very good. Let's give the film to Reyes. Happy to help. And then switch back to Reyes. And then we can use the film in the camera. Aha. And now we use the camera on the body. Smile. <laughs> okay. Now we can head into town and find the local sheriff. Right, so we've got to go into town. Dead ringer for the body. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. Um, can we like, look at this? Appears to be a male, approximately yeah, forty years old. Looks like he's been in the water for twenty-four hours. You can tell by the pixelation around the nose. <laughs> pixelation and neck. again. Let's see here. There's no wallet in his pockets. Ah, oh, they I took the, the wallet. Card. Possibly a key card from a hotel. So that could well be the homeless guy. Um. Oh look, we've got something here. Appears to be a small hole in the back of the head. Origins unknown. The hole in the victim's head doesn't look like a gun shot, more like a puncture from a sharp object. His suit looks tailored, possibly European in design. Yeah, German, this is definitely the, the guy that we played as in part one. Okay, let's just take a look down here. There's an owl sound again. Right, let's have a look down here where the... Something odd. Where was that? Something odd. It's covered by the underbrush, but it's an old abandoned chainsaw. Chainsaw? A chainsaw? Why the hell is there a chainsaw? It's pretty rusty and totally out of chainsaw gas. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. Okay. Right, so the there's nothing down here. here at this huge rock wall. There's an old tree here. That old tree is blocking the great entrance. Oh, there's someone in there. What was that? Violin music coming from the sewer? That scared the life out of me as well. I thought I was going to get smacked over the head. So we've got it's this. It's pretty rusty and it's totally out of gas out of though. Maybe gas. we can cut through Definitely that. Definitely not the murder weapon. No missing body parts. So maybe we can use the chainsaw to get through. Okay, we can double tap to run. So let's head into town. There's nothing this way, no. Because apparently we've got to see the sheriff. Up we go. <gasps> A tuna can. Let's pick this up. You have to pick up everything in these type of games. I don't see anything up ahead. I think the town must be in the other direction. Right, okay. Something else. It's an Atari cartridge. Yes. This is going to come in handy. It's the E.T. game for the 2600. Nice. Oh, almost got run over. Circus flyer. There's a lot of crap on this road. It's but, a circus flyer with always, a crazy looking clown on it. Hmm, pretty good makeup though. With these type of games, crap ends up being useful. Signals are Here very strong tonight. What signals? What signals? The signals. Signals are very strong tonight. <laughs> yes, you already said that, but what signals? Yes, you already said that, but what signals? <laughs> I'm just screwing with you. Dark night, deserted road, me in a giant pigeon costume. It was too good to pass up. It's a bit but weird. The signals are strong tonight. Very strong. Stop talking about the signals. You almost ran over a federal agent. That's a felony. You almost ran over a federal agent. That is a felony. Sorry about that. Like I said, the signals are very strong tonight. Uh, do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Do you know anything about the body by the bridge? Why is it whenever a dead body is found, suspicion always falls to the person dressed as a giant bird? It's in the cadet training manual. We don't know anything <laughs> about a dead body, but the signals are strong tonight. 
very strong. All right, signals. Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? Why are you dressed like a giant pigeon? We're the Pigeon Brothers Plumbing. I'm Beth. That's my sister Emily. Hi there. <laughs> Why brothers if you're sisters? Why brothers if you're sisters? Dad was expecting to have sons. And then he was too cheap to have the van repainted. So we're just wrong with that police dad. Oh, Oops. man. Shut up, Emily. Ah. Was that a little half confession that they want the dad to die? This is really odd. Should I save my game? This is really odd. Should I save my game? I wouldn't worry about it. The game was expertly designed to have no dead ends or death. Yet still be scary ah. and have a sense of tension. You can feel safe exploring whatever you want. Oh, that's pretty cool. The signals. They can be very strong and disrupt the power grid. Damn those signals. Uh, nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice chatting with you. I need to find the sheriff and solve a murder. Nice talking to you too. Beep. Click, 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 boop, was click, 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 right. eek, eek, Okay, we're just going to leave these weirdos to it. Ah, plastic rings. No, come on. Aha. From a six-pack, you're supposed to cut them up before tossing them? Saves wildlife. Now I just have to find a garbage can. Slow down, geez. Ah, Thimbleweed Cemetery. Let's take a look. This is kind of eerie. There's a lot of dead people in Thimbleweed Park. <laughs> Not sure that bodes well, really. Considering it only had a population of 81 and then 80. Uh, there's a lot of gravestones. There are a lot of gravestones. Okay, just how many gravestones are there here? <laughs> how big is this place? Soundtrack again, very immersive. Let's have a look at Flowers these. Flowers left over from a funeral. <gasps> Chuck. I shouldn't say anything out loud, but seeing Chuck's tomb in person makes me a little happy inside. Why? Flowers left over from a funeral. Ah, can we pick these up? We can. A flower from the cemetery. Can we go in here? Push. It doesn't budge. The iron gate is way too heavy to move, but I see a switch inside. Ah. So I guess we're going to need something to get in here. Maybe something that we can throw at the switch? Or shoot at the switch? Possibly. Okay. Let's leave the cemetery. We are on our way out. God, I love the soundtrack, I've got to say. It's very, very good. Like the way it changes. Like this is a very. There's almost a lot of suspense to this one that's playing now. It's very good. Okay, we're out. <gasps> a bottle. Just what we needed. It's an empty soda bottle. Five cent deposit in Massachusetts, Hawaii, California, Arkansas, Idaho, Wisconsin, Nevada, Georgia. Okay, enough of that. What's going on? Are we being watched? Filmed or something? Huh. Wait up, Eagle ah. Beaver. We're here. Thimbleweed Park. Thimbleweed Park. Nice name for a town. Yeah, it's not bad. So we've got to go and find the sheriff. Willie's watch 
slash violin repair shop. I wonder if that's the homeless guy. It's dark, but I can see there's nothing in there. Maybe he owned this shop, or, well, yeah, it's a shop, and it burnt down, and that's why he's homeless. Maybe he lived there. I don't know. Hint line flyer. It says <laughs> need help playing Thimbleweed Park. Call the fully automated Hintron 3000 at 4468. Hmm, maybe we should call it. Maybe we should call it. For those younger viewers who don't know, uh, before the days of the internet, yes, there was such a time, <laughs> um, you used to have to ring these type of hint lines if you were stuck on games. And they would sort of give you hints on what you do to continue the game. Uh, so this is sort of a throwback to that, obviously being 1987. Um, here we go. Let's Close. look at this. Looks like they cleared out in a hurry. So it looks like a lot of the places here, but <gasps> howdy! I'm the thimble. He's the sheriff. sheriff. I don't remember calling the Federinos. That's what you are, Feds. Hard to miss correct. the government issue suits. <laughs> uh, correct, sir. We are federal agents. Correct, sir. We are federal agents. Whoa! Hold your horse, Reno's. No need to get snippy. Looks like you heard about our little murder Reno out by the bridge, huh? There is nothing little about murder, sir. <sighs> Ignore him. He's new. No sense in wasting everyone's time, Reno. This, cut this guy likes to say a Reno. <laughs> it's only gonna get longer. Let's find the coroner and uh, get you on your way. Wrestling starts at eight. I hope he's talking about <laughs> on TV. Right. The coroner is waiting for you in his office. Come see me when you're done. I apologize, okay. Reno, for all the lights being off. We don't stay open as long as you city slickerinos do at night. Even for a murder? Especially for murder. What an that odd makes town. No sense. Are we authorized to shoot people arenos? <laughs> yeah, I'd quite like to shoot him actually. He's, the areno is very annoying and he says it all the time. Uh, but that seems like a good place to end this episode, guys. So I'm we'll, um, going to talk to the coroner areno in the next um, episode. So, uh, I'm enjoying it. It's really good. It feels like an old game, but it plays like a new game, mate. And the story's got me hooked already. Soundtrack and graphics are pretty cool. So I'm looking forward to carrying on with this one. Um, don't forget to let me know what your favourite point-and-click adventure game is, or the one you'd like to see me play, in the comments below. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new. And I'll see you all next time. Areno.